Hello friends, Dr. Amy Rao here. In this video, today, we shall be discussing about the sustainable agriculture practices and the participation of birds in sustainable agriculture. Here in this picture, we can see a lot of cranes coming into the chili field in search of insects. It's not only the cranes, but a lot of other birds also get into the field and they help the grower, thus reducing the population of the insects as predators. Now, with gradually time to come, you know, the trees were getting chopped off and most of the trees were not existing. Therefore, because of the deforestation, the bird population is also becoming very less. Some of the birds are becoming extinct, like sparrows. We know that the birds help in the dispersal of seeds and fruits, and some of them help in the pollination, and today, in sustainable practice, they are of twofold use. One is in controlling the insect population naturally in the field. Secondly, they are important in the biodiversity. They are natural agents to spread biodiversity. Some other species growing somewhere, they bring the seeds and just plant it here and it starts growing. So, there are natural agents for increasing the biodiversity too. So, it is essential to preserve the birds. In order to preserve the birds, we have to go back. We have to preserve the trees. So tree preservation is a part of sustainable agriculture practices and in sustainable practice there is a concept by the name of nature conservation wherein a part of the land, a small bit of the land is recommended to be allocated for nature preservation and growing of trees. It's not mandatory, but if the trees grow, the birds will be there and the nature's preservation will be there. These days we see, because of chopping of the trees and deforestation, so many monkeys are coming into the fields, into the city. And similarly, some birds are really disappearing, they are becoming extinct. So in order to keep up the nature, it is essential that the nature conservation and bit of land allocation for the nature conservation is also a part of sustainable agriculture. I would also like to mention here, in the course of this nature conservation and growing of the trees, Supposing some fruit yielding trees like mango trees or something like that are grown, they will be helping in the economical aspect and also for the nature conservation. And secondly, what is to be borne in mind is whatever the trees we are planting, they should not be causing any harm to the main crop in the sense they should not be leaching away water and the nutrients that are essential for the main crops, that are meant for the main crops. So what is it immediately we can do? It takes time for the trees to grow and to allocate a land. We cannot plant uh, trees in the midst of this uh, our crops because, because of the shade, 
naturally it will be affecting the crop and the plants itself this is exactly where there is a need for some artificial means for the birds to land this picture above shows such a bird perching station which is simply a stand made with some branches of a tree in the early hours the birds perch on this bird perching stations on their lookout for insects and we have seen it in the very early hours birds come there stand on that perch on that and they are, they'll be in the lookout of uh, some insects and they'll be capturing the insects this is a very interesting phenomenon as i always say in sustainable agriculture and organic farming the avoiding of insects is more essential and easier than simply trying to kill them with some extracts or whatever so in order to this is a part of the management practice wherein we have discussed in the past about border crops pheromone traps trap crops and uh, now the bird perching stations all of them can be combined together as a management practice see with the organic farming or non pesticide management when we started it initially no birds were there but we have seen it in the third year we have seen the crows coming and several birds also visiting the field these birds are becoming indicators of sustainable agriculture or organic farming in one of my videos i have shown that earthworms happen to be good indicators that the soil is clean and free from the pesticides and similarly now birds also the return of birds into the field is an indication that there is no pesticide spray which is driving them away and they are able to come back into the field thank you very much i'm able to share with you all my experiences on this agricultural practices and sustainable practices so thank you and please subscribe